In this video tutorial, I want to use the mirror curve tool uh, to produce uh, such a results, and I will show you how you can define the curve, how you can make this parametric uh, surface respond to the points, and also to the base curve that we are defining. You can see here, okay. Uh, so basically this is a video tutorial about uh, the mirror curve tool and how you can use it to produce a parametric surface and then we will make panels by the launchbox plugin and you can easily produce uh, the surface. Okay, to start from scratch, I will uh, let me just start with a new definition. Okay, uh, first of all, we can find the mirror curve by typing MIR, and you can find it here, mirror curve, or you can just go to the transform tool, and here in the morph section, we will have the mirror curve tool. So, what is a mirror curve? So, I'm going to explain first of all what is a mirror curve tool. You can uh, mirror a geometry based on a curve. Uh, so you can see in this icon also that we will mirror a point on onto the normal of this curve and then we're going to move that uh, on the other side. So if we have a geometry here, we have it here. If we have it here, we have it here because it will project on the curve and move to the next side. So what we can do here is, first of all, let's define the curve. I'm going to uh, use the point in the Parms menu and uh, give uh, three or four points here okay and this will be the curve we, the curve that we will use to mirror the geometry on so I'm going to go to the curve section and use the interpolate tool and connect those points to a curve so here we go and this will help us because if you turn on the gumballs of the display section you can easily change those points and see the results okay the next section will be the geometry we can use anything here even a box let me show you but the results will be uh, really uh, uncontrollable so let me just show you here you can see that it will really not respond or not give us the exact uh, exact result we want so the best thing I have uh, come to is to use a curve so let's just set another set of points and set multiple points here okay this will be our base curve and uh, if I give this to here you can see that the mirror will be just projected on the other side let's, let me just change this okay can see that I'm changing that we can just get fewer points so we can control it easier okay and here we go Let me just change this so what can we do with these points is uh, let's assume that we want a surface between these uh, two curves the base curve and the projected curve or the mirror curve here so I'm going to give two arcs here, one arc here and another arc here and use the sweep to command to produce the surface. So we have the first curve and we have the resultant curve, resultant curve from the mirror cur uh, curve tool and now we just have to produce those two arcs. So uh, what I'm going to use is go to the uh, curve section and use the point on arc tool. This will be great because you will understand how exactly the mirror is in the intersection of the middle of a point. If we just connect these points to this point, it will have a line. And if we calculate the medium uh, or the center of the line, you will have it here. If you have this, you will have the uh, you ha you will understand how the mirror curve is operating on the basically the geometry. So. I'm going to use the point on curve tool. I'm going to give it to the base curve or the geometry and go to the zero. So it's just the start of the curve and next the, okay, a zero for the next one. 
and connect these two points by a line. So we'll go to the line section and connect those. And we will have another point in the middle. So you can see exactly uh, that's what's happening. The mirror geometry or the curve is uh, mirroring the curve based on the projection. Okay, so let's go to the curve, to the primitive and make an arc. We can define different things for the arc, but I'm going to use the arc three point because we can have the start, the end, and in the interior of the arc, and we can easily define it. So the start of the arc will be here, the end will be the end of this point, and we have this point in the middle. We can move it up and give it to the point B. So I'm going to move this just a little bit in the Z direction, and I'm going to give it a number. So this will be the point B, and here we go. You can see that we can define the arc easily. And we need another one here at the end, so I'm going to uh, use all of this uh, algorithm and go to the end of the arc, okay? End of the curve, and you can see that we will have another one at the end of the two curves we had. So here we have two arcs, we have the two rails, and we can go easily to the surface, to the freeform, and use the sweep two tool. I will also make a tutorial about sweep two, but here we go. We will have the sweep two. We have two curves, and here, here they are. We're going to connect the rail one to the rail two, and the sections will be these arcs. So I'm going to give this the first one and the second one. Okay, let's just change the rails. Perhaps rail one, rail two. There's a problem here because it's connecting. The problem is with the sections. I'm going to give this the first section and the second. So it's based on the curve. If your curve is starting from here, this will be the first arc and this will be the second. So remember to uh, have a similar uh, way. Okay, let me just show you how I'm going to uh, make those curves baked. And let's just use the analyst tool, analyst direction. And you can see the direction is here. So basically, we had to give the first arc. Okay, we have the command here. So basically, the first arc was here. So this was the first section and this was the second section. So when I gave this arc to this and the next one to that, uh, Rhino didn't understand how to make the sweep too. So remember, check the direction and give it based on the direction of the rails. So this will be the first and this will be the second. And here we go. We can see it by going to the preview section and using a custom preview tool and see the surface. We can easily change the height of the arc. Let me just go to the high quality section so you can see exactly what it's going to be. And I can change this too. Okay, let's delete this. And we can also change the points. This will be fun because if we change the points, we can see the results, okay? It's easily done and we can just change the exact place of the mirroring curve and have a parametric model here okay so you can easily see that i'm changing the model uh, whatever i want to make on the surface okay the next and the last part will be to make the panels on this surface you can download the launch box from this uh, tutorial and uh, check out the website. In the post, you can download the uh, launch box uh, tool and copy uh, and go to the file, go to the special folder, go to the component folder, okay, and paste the tool uh, and the Grasshopper plugin into this place and restart your uh, Grasshopper and close the Rhino, close the Grasshopper, and again, launch it. So here we go. 
we can go and use the panel section, give it a quad panel, you can use whatever you want, you can give it diamond panels, it will be fun and easily done onto that surface. So uh, you can give it a number for the U and the V direction. So let's make it more and control in the V direction and here we go. We have diamond panels and can, we can easily make them into frames. Okay, here we go. We can give a number from 0 to 1. We we'll get it to 85% frame scale. You can easily change this. We have two set of panels, the diamond panels and the tree panels. So uh, remember that you have to make two set of scales for both of the panels. And here we go. We have the Okay, we can bake this into one layer, okay, and this one into one layer, layer one, and the panels into the layer two, and produce the, okay, I think that I have to, that's the layer two, and here we go, we have the panels. Uh, we can also give it a simple quad panel, and just delete this, use the quad panel on the sweep surface and change the numbers and easily make the surfaces okay. And here we go for the frame and we're good to go. We just change the panel scale factor and let's just bake this to layer one. We can also connect, okay. From the preview section, let's just connect the custom preview to the panels and one to the panel frame. And we can give it a color just by using the swatch tool, color swatch, and give this a blue with an alpha transparency. And we can give this a maybe a good color will go here. We can change that, okay. And here we have the model, so now we can play with the points. This is the best part. So we can just, uh, let me increase the height of the arc. We can increase the height. Yes. And we can also increase the height of the first arc. So let's just increase that. And we can also change the points of the main geometry, which is the curve. And we can also change it here for the curve that will mirror the geometry. So I'm going to change this and you can see that we can have a parametric surface easily changing. So we can define our design and we can just change these numbers. So we have a better dimensional uh, panels here. And uh, that's it. So you can see that the uh, mirror geometry okay uh, the mirror uh, here we go the mirror curve tool will easily mirror us a, uh, a base geometry on a curve and we used it to produce two curves and uh, two sections and finally we used the sweep tool to produce the surface and now we had the panels by the launchbox plugin and we're good to go we have our results and we can go and uh, produce our uh, plane or whatever you want you can just make a surface here okay let me just show you you can go to the surface to the free form and maybe use the edge surface okay let me explain that that will be great we will have the floor base for that we have two curves from here curve a those are four curves that we need. That's the first curve, the second one, the third and the last. So I'm going to give that to the line we produced here. Okay, the curve B. The second will be the, this curve and this one. I'm going to explain about that. Okay, we have this floor here. We can give it another color. Okay. just close this 
and we can also close this one uh, we can join this curve to this curve by just going to the curve section and join curves okay let's just connect the arc to the line and make it a surface we can easily connect the surface to that okay that's going to be easy and another join curve will be the arc and its defining line and here we go we have two surfaces here and we can also use the lunchbox frame section here okay the frame tool and give it a frame so this is a great tool if you want to just scale a surface and another one to this one and we can just give the same materials for the frames you have to have the shift key down and next to the panels okay let's turn this off everything will be off Expect of this floor section okay and here it is so you can see you can also close it by another number here we can change this and have it a simple scale one and this is a complete project okay so we can easily change the numbers easily change the points and get the results without even well, want to just draw it again so here we go and this is exactly what parametric means. You can define different parameters, make another form, and have a different results. Okay, thank you for watching. This was a video tutorial about mirror curve. It was an advanced one, but if uh, feel free to put comments underneath this video. If you have any questions, uh, I will answer them in a separate video. And thank you for watching.